color is like a, a medium ash brown. That's one in the middle in the back, two in the back side, two in the front side. So the two in the front would go right here and here. They're actually quite low because this is kind of like a hat. So as you can see, it is rooted. It has gorgeous uh, blonde highlights and like this one right here, beautiful, almost white but not, just more like a platinum highlight. And then it has caramel in it. It does have shine to it, but it, it's, it's a believable shine. So I had to thin this out tremendously. I had to use my thinning shears. And because it was just very, very top heavy for me, a little too heavy for me, very thick. I had to cut a lot of layers into it. I didn't touch the length at all, only the front and the bangs. Um, one of the downfalls to this topper is that the lace changes direction. So when you're looking at it like this, the lace in front falls down forward, makes all the hairs tied to where the hair falls forward. And then there's a line right across the top. I don't know if you can see that. That makes the hair start going backwards. And you can't cut the lace all the way to where that starts because the sides, it kind of scoops in. So you can't cut it. And then another problem that I had with it is one of the track, where the tracks start, you can see it right here. So I'm gonna put it on. I said it's kind of like a half wig like a half wig lace front and I can't wear it in front of the line in the lace front because the lace it doesn't stay down you would have to glue it it kind of bounces up so I have to make it more like a headband almost so so my temples right here and this goes all the way down like right in the front so kind of feel like it might be a bit ill-fitting and then these two side pieces so they go down quite a ways it's good coverage and it's also what I like about it because it goes because of the size that it goes down like this it um, doesn't hurt as much because this top of my head is more tender, so I like that it goes down lower. Um, it's beautiful as far as, I mean, I had to cut a lot into this. I had to cut a lot of hair. The, the problem that I'm having with this is that these fall forward. They just naturally they fall forward no matter what I do. I, I tried cutting it. Um, I can, the only way I can make it how I want it is if I take my own natural hair, my natural bangs. I use bangs. my own bangs to push that back so that it blends better. So, I, so all this is my natural hair here. And it, it's, it's a good, I mean my hair, my bangs, are definitely more of a have a golden warm hue to it and this has more of an ash brown to it but then it has like these gorgeous honey caramel tone to it so here I'm gonna adjust the camera so that you can see the back as well that. 
I love the highlights on it. It's very pretty. So you can see the lace front is right there. Mm. You cannot add any heat to this whatsoever. None. The type of fiber that it is. But when I use, I'm pulling my own hair, ow, there. When I use my own hair to push it, it'll push back. The best way that I've worn this, honestly, is just <laughs> clipping it back like this. And then you can't, it, you don't have that problem. So if I want to wear my hair back like this all the time, I mean, I have a cute little clippy. I wear hair like a bouffant and wear it like this. That's cute, right? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, it's really soft and workable. I do like that about it. The length is nice. The fibers are, it's very believable. Um, I do like that I can wear my hair up in a half ponytail or even in a lower ponytail, but I can wear my hair up. So, yeah, there you go. Hey, so I just wanted to show you guys what this looks like outside in natural lighting. So I'm in my front yard. Let's go in actual sun. Here's some sun over here. <laughs> Here's some sun. Here's some sun. Ah! Here's some very bright sun. How's it look? Real? Does it look real? My neighbors probably think I'm taking a video of them or something. Sun is gonna set soon. Very harsh sunlight. Ooh. <laughs>